Hey, what's up guys, this is the page and in this video I'm going to show you how you can install the Google Pixel 3 camera on Mi A1. So before we proceed, if you haven't subscribed us, subscribe us and also hit the bell icon to get notifications on all of future videos. Now if you don't yet, let's get started. So first of all, you have to install the Magic Manager on your device. In my previous video, I already show you how you can unlock the bootloader of Mi A1 and how you can install the TWRP recovery and the Magic Manager on Mi A1. So if you haven't watched that video, then watch that video from the link in the description of the video. So once you're done with that, now go to developer option and find USB debugging and enable it. Now connect your device by USB cable with your PC and leave your device connected. Now go to your PC and download platform tool and extract it anywhere on your computer. I'll put link in the description of video. And also make sure that you already installed the ADV driver on your PC. And if you haven't then just go to link in the description and download ADV driver and just double click on this setup file and install it. You just have to type YYY for the yes and So once you're done with that, now go to this extracted folder, then go to this platform tool folder and here you will get all this file. Now you have to go to address bar and type cmd here and it will open command prompt in this directory. Once you are here, you just have to type adb space devices and it will show you a list of devices connected to your PC. So first of all, it might show something like that and now go to your mobile, in your mobile uh, allow for USB debugging is popped up. Now you have to just allow it. Now go back to your PC and run the same command and it will show the list of connected devices. It will show some random string followed by devices. It means your device is connected. Now you have to type adb space cell and now here you have to type su. And now in your mobile the super user request for the cell is prompt the permission. Now if you unfortunately miss that pop-up or if you unfortunately miss to grant the permission then you can go to Magis Manager and swipe from the left, go to Super User and grant the permission for the cell. Now once you are done with that, now go back to your PC, you have to paste this two line of command and I will put this command in the description of video. This will enable camera to API and EIS on your device. So once you are done with that. Now go to your mobile and reboot your mobile. Once the device is restarted, now you can install camera to probe APK and you can check that hardware level support as level 3. It means your EIS is enabled. Now you can install Google camera on your device. I'll suggest you two camera for Mi A1. You can go with the Adnova latest version 6 for Google Pixel 2 camera and you can go with the BSG latest Google Pixel 3 camera ported for Poco F1. I know that this is for the Poco F1 but uh, fortunately it is working fine with Mi A1. But still there is one problem. Front camera of Pixel 3 is not working. It's just capturing some greenish photos. So that's why you have to use the Pixel 2 camera for the front portrait. Endnova's latest Pixel 2 camera is working fine with Mi A1. Uh, here the front portrait and rear portrait both are working fine and here you will also have the electronic image stabilization and almost everything is working fine with Endnova's latest Pixel 2 camera. But there is no night mode option in Pixel 2 camera. That's why you have to go for the Google Pixel 3 camera of BSG portrait for POCO F1. But it is working fine with the Mi A1. But this camera is capturing some greenish photo with front camera and you might face that focus issue. It might continuously focusing on your object so there is little fix. You can uh, go to video option and switch back to camera or the portrait option and this will fix your focusing issue. With this Pixel 3 camera, everything is working fine. A rear camera is working fine. Video stabilization is working fine. A rear portrait mode is also working fine. But you might see that uh, Glynis photo with the front camera. And also portrait mode is not working with the front camera. So for that you have to use the Pixel 2 camera. And night mode is working fine with this camera. I'm not very impressed with the night camera. But still it is working fine. So if you have complete dark room then it might not work at all and uh, it just capture your object but there is no detailing. 
But if you have little light on your room instead of complete dark and something like this where uh, the light is just coming out from your window then if you capture some object it might able to capture some detailing of your object. I'll add some sample shot with both the camera applications so you can compare both of them. So that's it for this video. I hope you like it. Don't forget to do subscribe and also hit the bell icon to get notification about all of future videos. And if you haven't followed me on my social media, then you can follow me on my social media from the link in the description. And this is the pace. Sign out. Meet you soon in next video.